Hello, hi, I'm Nick Burgess. I'm a quant analyst. I work in financial services and I specialize in interest rates and fixed income. Today, I'm going to talk to you about money market ETFs. Um, anything I discuss in this uh, chat, I'll put in the links below in this YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you can. Thank you. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to take you through some um, screenshots of the ETFs I've taken today and uh, we'll use that to, for, for our discussion. Let's uh, Let's go. Okay, so here we are. I've put together some, uh, I think some screenshots today just to take you through money market ETFs. So these are pretty live, uh, very up to date. Um, and there's about four, four, four or five slides just to sort of take you through the uh, what money market ETFs are. So money market uh, ETFs, uh, they're like they they're like savings accounts, and it's a um, exchange traded fund. So it's a fund that pays you slightly. Uh, so the money market ETFs, they pay, they're going to pay you slightly higher than the savings account, and you're going to receive a cent a cent the interest based on a central bank index such as dollar SOFA or or GBP Sonia or perhaps Euro Esther Esther funds. And the, and these central bank ind ind indices, uh, these central bank benchmarks, they're going to pay you more interest than what you would get in your savings account. Um, typically, um, so pretty good. Now, typically, these funds are going to, you know, your fund, any funds you invest in a money market ETF, they're going to be invested in ultra safe, ultra low volatility government bonds. So, very safe uh, investments, as we'll see on the next slide. So, what I'm showing you here is the cash to, um, this is the ticker, the cash to the, um, it's the money market ETF. And this particular type is the, is called accumulating. And these are the type of ETFs that we use if we want compound interest. We're not looking to receive cash for cash payments. You know, we just we want to store our cash away. We want to get interest on interest, and uh, so so we have an accumulating uh, ETF. Now, this particular one, the purpose of this sort of screenshot taken today is from IB Broker, and I'm looking at how the um, the value of your cash count of your fund has performed over the last year. And you can see it's a straight line. And it's really, that's a really good thing to see. It means there's no volatility. Um, it's trading in the market and it's super safe. It's uh, very easy to know what your return is gonna be. This one's paying around 5%. It's getting, we're getting the interest on this particular one from uh, from the Euro European sort of benchmark, which is ESTA. It's this currently paying 5%, which is actually much higher than Esther. We're also getting some fund uh, from an FX swap where they're converting euros into GBP. Uh, so you get a little bit more. Uh, so this is one of the top one of the top performing uh, money market ETFs at the moment, paying around 5%. That's much higher than you get in the UK bank account. Some of the top funds in the UK now, are top cash accounts rather, are paying around around the 4% level. Uh, if well, These are the high interest accounts and say other normal savings, savings accounts are paying around 2%. So 5% interest here is pretty good. Um, but what I really want to highlight here, this is accumulated fund, you get compound interest, and you could sort of see it's very stable. So over this one year, we've had Trump tariffs, we've had all kinds of market turmoil, uh, ups and downs in the market, and this fund is just solid. It's uh, this money and money market funds are like this. They're, there's just no volatility in them. It's very safe. And um, even though, for example, in recent weeks, there's been lots of things happening in financial markets, as you can see, the money market fund is completely unimpacted, which is a great sign. So it's a very safe investment, is what I'm trying to say. Now, I've got a second example, which is the XSTR, which is the extract as GBP uh, money market ETF. And you can see the, the price behavior is really different. So it's very similar to the uh, accumulating type uh, of uh, ETF. But this one's a distributing uh, ETF, which which will give you a cash payment, a regular cash payment, and gives you a regular revenue stream. So you put your funds into this particular uh, money market ETF. Again, it's still very safe. It's still invested in bonds. Got a little bit of noise here and there, but it, it goes away after the, after a day or so. So it's very safe. And what you're sort of seeing every every six months, so this again over the last year, taken for days, this is a live screenshot, and um, you can see that you're, you invest in, your, in in the ETF, your funds grow over time, a little bit of volatility, you just wait till the next day. Um, and um, and then every six months, the, the value of your funds, it's a cash account, so the value of your funds will drop. That's because they're paying you out interest and they're paying you out very good interest. Um, and then they uh, and then you, they invest your funds grow again. What's left in, in your account grows, and then 
uh, it accumulates interest. And again, it pays. So it's just paying every six months. So they're not walking off your money or stealing your money. Um, they're actually just they're actually paying you cash. It's, it's pay, being paid to you. So if you want the revenue stream, is this uh, you invest your funds here and you get your revenue stream. If you want to then sort of, so you don't want them to pay you, uh, you want them to sort of keep it in your account and accumulate interest, and then the accumulating type of ETF is better. Now, uh, for me, I prefer accumulating type ETFs, ETFs because I don't want to keep paying transaction costs to buy more. Of, at every time you buy and sell your uh, units in your fund, you, you pay transaction costs. They're not very large, but you pay something. Mm-hmm. So rather than sort of having interest and then putting it back on deposit and paying for that, I'd rather the accumulating one. Other people, they just they're not looking to, they, they are looking for that regular revenue stream. Uh, so for retirement, it's fantastic. Then the distributing type is better, uh, more, perhaps more suitable. Now, um, what do these ETFs do with your money in a bit more detail? Very quickly, we'll go through that. So they invest in high quality, low risk, highly liquid, government bonds, using repos. So they, they buy bonds, uh, very safe bonds, and they lend them out. And in exchange, they get repo financing. So that's from the repo bond market. So that's typically what they do. Um, some uh, ETFs use total return swaps or TRSs, and these are for the synthetic funds. So this is one for the quants. Uh, so what are synthetic ETFs? A synthetic ETF, ETF is where they replicate uh, a benchmark index using total return swaps. What they, what exactly do they do? Well, firstly, they, 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 these funds will build up a diversified uh, basket of collateral, and they'll buy things that are very safe, uh, low volatility, short maturities. Um, they're going to look for very safe um Actually, it's not necessarily very safe. What I really mean is very liquid. So they're going to buy sort of highly reputable stocks. Perhaps 5% of the basket will be um, things like equities like Google, Microsoft, but it's very diversified. And what I mean by safe is the TRS part, which comes next. So they'll have this collateral basket um, and they'll be full of things that's very easy and quick to sell should they need to. And uh, But it's also highly, highly valuable and it's a good platform. So um, and where and where the safety comes in is from the TRS. So what they do is they will enter into a total return swap, and they and what the total return swap does is that they swap. Uh, we we have investors that want to sort of buy uh, stocks. They don't want to pay for the stocks, um, so they they pay they buy they pay for you to buy them on their behalf, and they will pay you with a benchmark index such as Sofa, such as Esther in Europe, or it will be GBP Sonia in the UK. And um, they will pay you the benchmark index in exchange for the profits or the losses from that collateral that you hold. And that's perfect because you don't want to take profits and losses on Google and Microsoft. That's not what you're doing. You're not betting on the stock market. Uh, But you do want to have collateral to protect your investment. And so that's the best of both worlds. You get paid the benchmark index, profits and losses go to the counterparty and you you keep the, and you hold, but you hold that collateral in, in, in your cash account, in the fund will hold it on your behalf, and so the fund will have collateral. Do then, if should, should there be any problem, you receive the benchmark index. Whatever happens to the stocks, we don't care. It's very safe because all the profits and losses are going to the counterparty. Um, so it's uh, it's high. These are synthetic ETFs. They're highly liquid. They have good quality collateral inside them that protects your investment. But it also that collateral because it's so easy to buy and sell. It's highly liquid. That's what we meant by liquid. Very easy to sell. That means if you want to get out of your, you want to sell your units and your funds. Very easy for the fund because they just sell this collateral, which is highly liquid. So that means you have easy, easy access for everybody. Um, so that's what the uh, synthetic ETFs are doing using uh, TRSs. Now, how do you buy a uh, money market ETF? Uh, so you, first of all, you need a you need a brokerage account. It's very easy to set up. So uh, a really good one is IB Broker. There are plenty in the UK. So these are the UK ones. So there's Free Trade, there's IG Markets, there's eToro. There's just lots and lots of them. Um, I like IB Broker because I I, I think their uh, fees are very low. So for example, an example fee. So if you look at it, looking at trades sort of today. So if I looked at this uh, Cash Two ETF, this one today, this one's trading with. Um, bid off a spread of around 50p. So this is sort of per thousand. So it's, the value of the fund is around thousand um, thousand pounds per unit. So it's selling in, thousand, in the, those of the units. And the difference between the buying and the selling price is 50p. So that's a bit of a spread in the market. 
and the transaction costs that your broker would typically charge you would be about a one to one to two pounds. Uh, so it's very very cheap to um, to enter uh, to to buy the units in these ETFs. Now, uh, if you want to know more information, there's a brilliant website. It's called justetf.com. ET, it's got everything for beginners and advanced sort of advanced people who want to know that know already know a lot. It's a fantastic website. Uh, what's really good is one of the things I really like is got an ETF screener, so you can actually go through all the different types of ETFs. We've only talked about the money market ones, and you can sort of see which ones are performing best, which ones, um, which ones are. are not not doing so well so it helps you to pick the best etfs and and if you wanted then to also look at other types of etfs there's so many choices you know there are etfs that are investing uh, where you get to invest in commodities like such as gold and silver also fairly safe but uh, higher higher uh, higher risk higher rewards or you might there's this stock etfs there's all different kinds of commodities you can um, house price index there's all kinds of uh ETFs in there. So uh, take a look at the website and uh, if you want to know, know more, it's got a lot of useful information. So that's everything I want to talk to you about money market ETFs today. Hope you find it useful and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.